We are all biased about all kinds of prototypes and concepts. It actually makes sense. For example, a concept of tubeless tires appeared a long time ago. They have been available for sale in high demand. However, Michelin went even further. In early June, they showed an airless tire for production-based cars. In 2004, at the Paris Motor Show, Michelin introduced its first actual airless wheel technology. The Michelin Tweel tire consisted of an almost ordinary metal disc, which was bolted to the hub. The outer rim was made of rubber and connected to a metal disc with polyurethane spokes. According to Michelin, their wheels are cheaper than conventional pneumatic ones. They will be almost maintenance-free and will last longer, as they are not prone to punctures. They are not planned to be used on passenger cars. Instead, tweels were tested and recommended for low-speed construction and clearing vehicles. An idea of a tubeless tire is very promising, so discontinuing them for serial cars would be short-sighted, since such wheels are also widely used on ATVs, as well as on military and space machines. However, only in mid-2019, an airless tire technology was finalized in collaboration with General Motors. Visually, a new airless wheel resembles a previous prototype of 2004. However, it is made of completely different materials using other technologies. A new tire is proudly called a unique puncture-proof tire system. This unique puncture-proof system is made of a mixture of composite rubber and polymer fiberglass. It will be actively tested in 2019 on a Chevy Bolt, but will be available for sale no earlier than 2024. However, neither Michelin nor GM have yet announced which car model will be equipped with a new product. The same Michelin and Maxian wheels, the world's largest manufacturer of wheels, presented another novelty, flexion wheel tires and rims, which are prone to punctures but at the same time are pothole resistant. Modern vehicles are increasingly using rims of large diameter, minimum 19 inches, which explains the use of low-profile rubber. It looks really nice, but its use is not practical, as on a difficult terrain, low-profile rubber is at risk of damage in potholes, just like the rim itself. The new flexion wheel is not much different from the standard one, but its design is much more advanced. The main feature of the wheel is two Acorus rubber flanges, installed on the side of the wheel body. They serve as a damper between the wheel body and the tire. Thus, rubber flanges absorb the entire emergency load. The Korean company Hankook does not lag behind Michelin in technology's productivity. At the exhibition in Essen, they presented two futuristic Hexonic and Aero Flow wheel models. Hexonic smart wheels are designed exclusively for unmanned vehicles. They are designed to supply the main computer with information on the condition of the roadway, its temperature, and the degree of deterioration using seven sensors. The tire can change the tread pattern for better water drainage and produce Y-shaped spikes to improve traction if necessary. The Aeroflow tire looks really futuristic. It is designed for high-speed machinery, where aerodynamic downforce is of high importance. The wheel consists of two halves, with a turbine installed between them. As soon as the sports car speeds up, the halves diverge and expose the turbine to the flow of oncoming air. The task of the turbine is to direct air in order to increase the downforce of the car. Time will show whether how successful those engineers' developments will be. They have yet to go through a lot of tests before getting on the conveyors of automakers. However, each of these concepts is plausible for practical application on cars.